Groundhog Day, like father, like son, is a narrative-driven puzzle game, a new game by uh, The Killia Works. In this VR game, you take on the role of Phil Connor Jr., the son of the protagonist from the movie Groundhog Day. If you have seen the movie, then you will know what this game is about, because just like his father, Phil Jr. is stuck in a time loop, reliving the same day over and over again, and it's up to you to solve puzzles and explore the world to try to break out of this time loop. We will first dive into the first 8 minutes of the game, and then uh, after that, a review is coming up. But first, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet to see more VR game reviews like this one. And now, let's dive into virtual reality. So yes, I just woke up in my house, I think, as the son of uh, the protagonist of the movie. And uh, it's telling me to teleport. And that's the only oh, movement this in this game. this room is just how I left it. Gross and depressing. Oh, why did I agree to come home again? These are my notes. Make vlog at the ceremony. All right. Some settings here, the same map. Gallery. Oh, with photos. Contacts people to call. Oh yeah. Let's not do that right now. Oh, and I can make photos. Let's make a photo of my room. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, now I can go over there. Uh I should Alright, Phil. Let's see what half a semester of art school got you. <laughs> All right, teleport here to continue. Let's uh, let's continue. Oh, I'm being called. Maybe it's time to answer. Let's pick up. Seriously, Phil, you're in Punxsutawney? What the hell? Why is it the big deal? Yeah. So, what's the big deal? Uh, cause, after everything we talked about, I had to wake up and see on the internet that you're in your hometown. What the hell? Look, I'm doing a vlog here today that could be huge for me, okay? And what? I'm not? Well, I guess I'm on the fence about that right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there you are, sweetheart. Good hey, morning. Mom. There's so much going on. And everyone I else. barely started breakfast. And this whole ceremony thing was Ned's idea, but I'm actually a little excited for it, aren't you? Excited's not the first word that jumps to mind. I'm more excited for my flight out of here. Now, Pumpkin, I know you and your dad had a rough patch there at the end. I'd say it was mostly rough patch. Oh, Junior, what's wrong? Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? <laughs> Maybe this is how you always act. So I'm a vlogger and influencer. Look, I'm shooting the most important vlog of my career at Dad's ceremony today. I'm a little anxious. Is that the only reason you've come home? To get material for a vlog? Yeah. My producer insisted I do personal material for my big interview with Streambler. They're hip. You wouldn't know them. That's not fair. I watched your thing, Junior. I liked it. Ha! You watched one. I've made over 80 episodes, Mom. I'm trending. Hold on, Junior. It's Ned. I have to take this. Okay. Hello. Hi, okay, Ned. I can move around How's now. Everything going? Sit here. Hello? Kids, mm. put the snowballs down and get inside. We need to get ready for Grandpa's ceremony, okay? Hey, little kitty. Yes, Why? Junior's here. Because of the reason I just said to you. I I'll know. Bow with my mouth. It's been a long time. Oh. I'm very happy to oh, be I like back this. in town. Can we get in the fridge? Oh yes, we can. Uh, I think this is milk. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice. No, we're not ready yet. We're gonna be late. Oh my God, Dad, I know, what do you want but from things me? are a bit. Am out I of being control? clear? I think I'm being pretty clear. Could you please bring your brothers in and get ready for the ceremony now? Mm, nice. I like that everything is yeah, uh, interactive. I still need to make breakfast and get ready. So yeah, teleportation is the only movement in this game. Oh, look at that. Oh no, it's burning up. Yeah, it was. Whoa. Oh my god. I can't believe those kids. There's broken glass everywhere. Get inside and 
go to your room right now. Mom, I'm so sorry. Well, seriously, Sophie? Couldn't you have just listened to your father for once and brought the kids in Do when he asked? Mine? Uh, are you blaming me for the window? I didn't yeah, do I anything. Heard. We all heard. Exactly. How about showing you what I'm saying? This isn't my fault, right? Grandma. I'm so sorry, Ned. Are you still there? Yeah, fine. Doing, right? So what were we you're talking upset. about? Do I you, still Dad? need to make breakfast. Of course. Get I know how much you want to go, but there are reasons I said no. I'm not Grandpa Phil, okay? I'm your dad, and I set the rules. And right now, I need you to get ready so we can go to his statue thing. Okay? The twins are playing outside. Bacon and eggs? I can't oh, eat any of that no. food, Dad. Since when? Oh, they're since going to set it up ever. now. Great. At least four months. <laughs> I mean, is it really that hard for someone to ask? Hey, Sophie, maybe I can make you a nice Zen smoothie for breakfast. A, a, a Zen <laughs> smoothie? Oh, yes. That's food? That's a good idea. I'm sorry, I can't focus right now. Jake and Sophie are at it again. Oh, no. There. Now, could we all just please Bad calm kitty. down and finish getting ready so I can drink my cappuccino in peace? Oh my god, you oh. people are unbelievable. I told you I'm not eating anything but Poor Zen mom. smoothies and... The twins broke the window and Grandma blames me? And no one defends me and... Ah, none of you get Selfie. me! I don't care about the Selfie. stupid ceremony. Hey, I need you come back here, here this minute. Sophie, you don't even have your license. Oh my goodness. Note to self. Never get a teenager. <laughs> okay, loading screen. Back into this story. Always thought the house could use a drive through window. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, continue day. Looks oh, like lots of loading Sophie. screens. I just don't know what we're going to tell Ned. Ooh. Oh, Can I move around in here? Phil? Phil Jr.? I thought that was you. Well, hot dog! <laughs> Ned? Ned Ryerson? Bing! Oh, sure as heck fire. Great to have you back in Punxsutawney for this memorial. This Thanks is going to be who? just amazing. Great for who? <laughs> You're sounding more and more like your father every day. Not a compliment. Bing! I see what you did there. Ned, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's gotten into him. What is today. he doing? Oh crap! Is that little pool turd spray painting a mailbox? I'm gonna wring his neck. Oh, Junior, this is my daughter Sarah. You remember her, don't you? Okay, now you got a peek of the gameplay, so let's move on to the review. So, if you are a fan of the movie, then you probably like to know that this game is like a sequel. The main character in this game is very cynical, like the real Phil. And there are even some characters from the movie that you will meet, like Ned Ryerson. The game features a branching storyline, so you are in control of what happens next. The story is about a generation after the movie, so you will meet characters of the internet age who are used to using strong language and sardonic humor. Which makes this game definitely for mature audiences only. Sometimes the humor can be even a bit dark, but I do think the narrators gave the game a lot of character. The gameplay consists of multiple scenes in different environments with fixed teleportation spots. You have to get through each scene by fixing whatever went wrong in that scene. This could be fixing the uh, cappuccino machine, dancing with Ned, or graffiti painting a wall. Most of these tasks are puzzles for you to solve. What I like about this game is that it rewards exploration. By exploring you'll find clues to move on and a lot of items you'll find in each spot is interactive and works with each other. Using your phone, you can take photos, get phone calls, or call someone yourself. Most of the time, you'll be standing still, just watching the scene happen and story unfold. When something important is said, it will be added to your notes on your phone, which becomes your objectives. Thankfully, if you did something wrong, you can use your phone to restart a scene or the whole day. This is where it can get a bit tedious. When you haven't fixed something, you will have to go through the scenes again. If you already completed the scene, you can thankfully skip through most of that scene, but some narration keeps uh, repeating itself. Sometimes little details change, which is nice, but if you've heard Ned come to you 10 times already, you get really sick of it. It would have been nice to be able to skip through that kind of narration as well, if you've heard it already. 
and sometimes the game feels more like an interactive visual novel instead of a full game, but I guess that's what the developers intended since they took inspiration from Job Simulator and Telltale Games, a video game company that makes episodic games. But I did enjoy my time with this. It might not be the most immersive game ever, but the story is told well and it made me want to finish the game just to hear the whole story. I've completed the game in about 6 hours. I have to be honest though, it took me a long while to figure out one of the later puzzles. If you are into cynical humor and narrative driven games, then I recommend it, especially if you are a fan of the movie. By the way, you do not have to watch the movie to play this game, although it will probably make it more fun as it will give you a nostalgia feeling. The game is available now for 30 US dollars or 25 euros, and it fully supports the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift and PS VR, but as you could see in this video I played on the Valve Index and it's completely playable, but since it's not officially supported, be aware that it might cost some bucks. So did you watch the movie and uh, are you going to get this game? Let us know in the comments what you think about the game so far. We would love to know and a special thanks goes to Art Army on our right hand page and a special shout out goes to his Patreon page. Thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next VR video and as always we are on Groundhog Day like fire <laughs> to uh, never miss anything and uh, to uh, see uh, uh... Oh, I forgot.